All right, guys. This is my first look. First look at Dragon's Dogma 2. Now, my name is Cap Corgi, so I do like dogs. I know that's not the word. I know dogma is a specific different word. I'm kidding. I've not seen really any Dragon's Dogma 1. So we're going to check out this five-minute little gameplay overview and look into this game. Let's see it. Let's see it. I'm excited. I've heard a lot of people tell me how good Dragon's Dogma is. People have literally bullied me into putting it on my uh, backlog. I'm kidding. Not bullied, but we will be... Will be uh, it is on the backlog. I, will, I am looking forward to playing Dragon's Dogma 1 uh, into 2 at some point. But let's see. Let's see. Maybe, uh, maybe this will make me want to play it sooner. That's really loud. Hold up. So sorry, so sorry, guys. So sorry. Um, yeah, it's at 480p as well. There we go. All right. Dragmas these nuts, yeah. It depends on how long the song is, Doc. <clears throat> Hello everyone, my name okay. is Hideaki Itsuno, and I'm the director of Dragon's Dogma 2, and I'm producer okay. Yoshiaki Hiramayashi. <clears throat> Dragon's Dogma 2 launches on March 22nd. Today, we'd like to introduce... Wait, it's like two weeks! Holy shit, that's really close! Dragon's Dogma 2 is a narrative-driven, open-world, action RPG set in an immersive fantasy world. We hope well, that description makes me happy. That's like all the stuff I love in gaming. Open world, immersive, action, RPG, narrative driven. Jesus, that's like, that's like all of my stuff. That's like all the stuff I love. Oh my god. Players feel like they've been reborn in this vibrant new world. Join forces with pawns skilled with various weapons to form a party of up to four. While this is a single player game, those harpies look insane. And forming parties will reach this looks great being on an adventure with friends. Players will encounter legendary monsters as they venture through the distinct areas of the game. Some so, is this multiplayer or is this single player? Game's kind of crazy looking, yeah. This looks really nice. I love like the varying set settings. Like, this is like Desert Steps. We saw City earlier, we saw rivers and like marshland and like forests and stuff it, it has like a variety of different settings for sure it's single players but the pawns make it feel like a multiplayer got it yeah okay monsters fly through the air with dynamic <clears throat> attacks <clears throat> while others are more cunning and mysterious hey yo some appear at night her things be thanging and others are colossal in nature they will create a variety of challenges for the player Wait, bro is just climbing. What is this, Monster Hunter? Dude, this feels like Monster Hunter. I like it. This this looks this looks very good. I okay. Colossal in nature. They will create a variety Shadow of the Colossus almost. Test your decision making ability and creativity using your vocation and the surrounding environment. Oh, that's cool. There was water coming out of like, you know, a bit of a crack in the mountain. You just took like an explosive thing and lit it and it exploded the wall and like it started to fl That's, ah, that's cool. That is really, 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 really cool. Oh man. Dragon's Dogma was the first copy to Monster Hunter. Gotcha, holy smokes. Thank you for the thousand bitties, my friend. You were very kind, I appreciate that. Holy smokes. Yeah, this is made by Capcom, right? Of course, you can always choose to run away. This looks Yeah, yeah, I'd I'd run away from this guy as well. Like holy shit, man. Holy shit. This is insane. So another interesting thing that it said was that bosses and monsters will never be seen by some players in a whole playthrough. Unless they're smart enough to find them. Okay. Okay. That's very interesting. 
If you run somewhere occupied by other characters, you may end up naturally joining forces. But reactions will vary character to character. Some will be frightened, while others will show courage. So certain NPCs react differently. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Their relationship with you, the Arisen, will vary based on the actions you take. That, in turn, will change their relationships with each other. Hey, yo. Wait, wait, what? Is, is this boy just picking up a girl off the streets? What is going on in this game, man? Holy shit. Boy's getting it in, man. A variety of characters await you on your journey through Dragon's Dogma 2. <clears throat> Over 1,000 characters inhabit the world, each with their own unique yep. stories and motivations. Whoa! Dude, the Kaji! It's not, it's not a Kaji. It's basically a Kaji. This is insane. My best info for Dragon's Dogma, even with down. What do you mean? Sword Art Online handhold mechanic, yeah. Your help, marking the beginning of a new quest. Whoa, okay. Quests have an array of different objectives, from saving people being attacked by monsters and avoiding detection as you sneak into a location, to locating and delivering valuable items. Ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Oh, it has it has the bowl cut, <laughs> dude. This this is an always sad hairstyle in a video game. Every time, it's one, it's one of the best Dark Souls haircuts because it just looks so janky all the time. Oh my god. Holy smokes. Very well. That's no hat. Situations, combat isn't your only option. One alternative might be to make a counterfeit item. Whoa! See if you can pass it off as the real Request of forgery? Okay. Thing. The world is a complex web of human relationships and the player's choices have consequences. We've expanded the world of the original mm -hmm. game to make it a denser, more elaborate experience. Okay. Enabling players to fully inhabit the role of the Arisen. Yeah, this looks good. We have several announcements ahead of the release of the game. First, take a look at this video. Okay, let's watch it. The character creator and storage. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this main? Wait, we can design our own like friends? Perfect. Okay. We got, we got fighter, archer, mage and thief. These are the, I guess the four main archetypes. I'm assuming we have like sub archetypes, right? Like some kind of like specializations and stuff. Your own pawns will be available for other players to be used. Wait, I could make me to be used in your guy's world? That's, that's such a good idea. I love that idea. That is so cool. There are 20 total archetypes. Got it. Okay. Now, is there going to be like a berserker? Like something that's like, you know, dual wielding or giant two-handed weapon and just like, just all offense, no defense, because that's my boy. That's, that's my character. That's my favorite archetype. Not 20, more like 13. Okay. All right. Is, is there a berserky boy? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm trying to see the last menu. Okay. So vocation. Oh, God inclination interesting i don't know what inclination is the character creator is really in depth chat don't make me make a cat boy please i, I know the last time we had the choice to be a cat boy you guys like voted like literally 13 to 1 to make me a cat boy Oh, we can make our character creator now? Players can create and edit their arisen protagonist and main pawn in the Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator in storage. 
That's pretty cool. Of course, you'll be able to transfer the. <laughs> I like how multiple of you were like, "Okay, not a cat boy, but what about a cat girl this time?" <laughs> I hate you all. I hate you all. Five gigabytes. Oh man. All right. All right. Character data to the full version of the game. Up to five Arisen and five Pawns can be created. Okay. This is the perfect opportunity to prepare for the adventure before the release of the game. Furthermore, we are planning to have some of the Pawns... Cre I've seen this guy before. I think these are... I think these are like big streamers, right? That's cool. players as official Pawns. Players will be able to hire up to two of these... I don't know any of these others. Pawns to aid them on their journey. <laughs> can, can, can I make a little green monster guy like this? I hope so. Cause this, this guy, this little guy's cute. I, I want, I want a, I want a little pawn like this guy. I don't know what other races I can make. We will have more details about official pawns and who they will be in the near future. Yeah, I know him from Twitter. Maximilian, yeah. Dragon's Dogma 2 is now available for pre-order bonus. Mm. Hopefully this hopefully this is just cosmetic. Pre-order. The standard edition and the deluxe edition <clears throat> both include pre-order bonuses. We hope you consider pre-ordering. The Ring of Assurance. The March Oh, that's definitely not cosmetic. That ring is definitely not cosmetic, boys. Second release date is right around the corner. Capcom's got a Capcom. The Dragon's Dogma 2 team are thrilled for you to experience this game. Thanks for your patience. Interesting. Guys, should we do it? 11 minutes of gameplay on the PS5? If you look through the game price, how much is the game? Deluxe means nothing? Oh, no. I, I Everything means something. Uh, everything means something. All right. I think we look at the gameplay, guys. I think we look at the 11 minutes of gameplay. $70? Jesus. Whoa! Oh, my God. You're on top of it just stabbing it. This is very Monster Hunter. Okay. Looks like we have like all kinds of different skills. How do we control our pawns? Do we like tell them to target things or are they just like full AI? And you give them, so, so like in other games, uh, you can give like your companions AI behaviors like go aggressive and go defensive and stuff like that Like uh, I'm thinking of like, you know, uh, Knights of the Old Republic and such Yeah, hey, tell them what to do. Okay. Okay, so you don't directly control them. You don't say like shoot firebolt now You just tell them like play aggressive and shit and, and then they do what they do. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I definitely don't have $70 to buy this game, Burdened. There's no way. This looks really good, but I'm not able to buy this game right now. Whoa, look at that fire! Whoa! Dude, his, like, wings are on fire. That is so cool. That is really cool. FF16 with extra steps. Hey, FF16 was dope. We need to go back and finish that game at some point. The lightning looks good. Is this is this just a Is that is that just the, the monster hunter air weapon where you like spin around in the air? Is it just kinda looks like that. I do, I do need to finish seven remake, yeah. I know Rebirth came out. Yeah. 
I mean, to be fair, if they did, they copied it off of Monster Hunter, which is their own property. So I don't really mind that too much. You know, it's, it's literally like th these are both Capcom games. <laughs> That's totally fine. <clears throat> oh, it's just flying. Oh. Boy died. He just straight up died. Oh, your companions just like talk to you and like tell you shit. That's cool. Oh, oh my God. Bro just got squished by an ass, by a giant ass. He's getting destroyed. He's getting absolutely destroyed. Really not play the OG game? I told you I didn't. What do you mean? I told you I didn't. Out of these types of games, I played Monster Hunter World, Monster Hunter Rise, and all the way back, I played Shadow of the Colossus. That's it. <clears throat> That's the dream getting squished by an ass. Yeah. Wait, wait. We could read this. Hold on. Ah, fuck it. Is this PS5 only? Or is it PC as well? Oh, I thought bro was dead. His, like, neck was, like, hanging backwards. <clears throat> Ooh. It's BC as well? Okay. This game will live and die if the combat... Uh, on the combat smoothness. Like, this has to be really smooth. Like, if this is Monster Hunter Smooth, this will be insane. As in good. Dragon's Dogma 2. They're pro. <clears throat> Interesting. It's a flying dog. The Griffin looks really cool. <clears throat> oh, you have a little bit of magic, it looks like. I wonder how the crafting is in this game. They didn't show off any crafting. Getting juggled by a giant monster. That's very Monster Hunter. Oh, right in the neck. Oh, man. Poor little flying dog. So first of all, Corporate Oreo, this is a single player game. The little guys around you, they're like your, your helpers. You can think of it as like a, um, uh, if you know Diablo, you know how you got your like little pawn dudes in Diablo, uh, Diablo 2 and stuff. It's like that. Um, and also, there's no friendly fire, it looks like. It looks like there's no friendly fire at all. So I, I don't think you have to worry about that. Just like you don't really have to worry about it in um, uh, Monster Hunter. So, yeah, yeah, Palico for Monster Hunter World. Exactly, exactly. I don't...
don't think this looks dumb at all. Like, this looks great. Yeah, how good the friendly AI will be will affect this game a lot. Yeah. I agree with that. When was this video made? I'm curious. Like, how, how far away? Oh, this is brand new as well. Okay, okay. Uh, Christina, welcome. We're looking at Dragon's Dogma 2. Thank you for the sub, my friend. You are amazing. We love you. Okay. Ah! The D-pad. Go, help, wait. Okay, so, so you can, like, kind of, like, give them instructions, your squad. Oh, my God. Bro just got grabbed. The camera just looks a little too close. So it looks, it looks a little really chaotic because the camera's like really all up you can't see anything it's a little worrying <clears throat> so when you get down you lose max health how are you Christina welcome <clears throat> okay Ooh, just seeing the eyes at night. That was pretty cool. Interesting. Just, just flambe it, guys. Just light that shit on fire. So there, there is... Okay. So there's just straight up, like, RPG-style leveling. Okay, all right. That targeting with the runes, that looks really cool. I, uh, that looks really cool. I like that a lot. Whoa! Okay. How are you, my friend? Welcome. Giveaway is active, by the way, guys. Join the giveaway. Oh shit. The multi-targeting. That's that's nifty. I like that. I like that. Oh, you control the arrow? That's dope. Okay. You got Flame Fang Arrow, Frost Hunter Bolt, Recovery Arrow, and Ricochet Hunter. I think those are like the special magics. Ah, I got you. What you been up to, my friend? It's lovely to have you back. I'm doing okay. Right now, we're looking up Dragon's Dogma 2. I feel like a lot of the nuance will come from, like, being able to control your entire party. And, like, you know, making a very well-balanced party. You could focus on, like, having, like, two mages and a, 
a melee tank and then like an archer or something, things like that. Yeah. The fire looks really nice. The fire effects look really, really good. <clears throat> Welcome, thank you for the raid. I will give you a warm welcome after this video finishes. Pleasure to have you all in here. There is a giveaway active. Join the giveaway with exclamation point join. Holy smokes. This looks really good. Tell me about, tell me about Dragon's Dogma 1, Daft Boy. Is this your first time playing Dragon's Dogma 1? Because we're looking up the sequel right now. Oh my god. Boy just got smashed. Yeah, we're we're looking we're looking at a video, the gameplay video for it. <clears throat> what do I need to know about Dragon's Dogma? When it came out, gotcha. It feels very Monster Hunter. Is it like Monster Hunter? I have not played one or two, obviously. Interesting. These battles look really chaotic. Like, really, really chaotic. <clears throat> Only partly made by you? Gotcha. What does that mean? All right. That looks pretty interesting, guys. That looks pretty interesting. That was the gameplay of Dragon's Dogma 2. This, this video came out one day ago. One day ago. So it's brand new. Um, and the first one, you get you and your pawn and the rest of your party is made. Yeah. Apparently, you can download the character creator for Dragon's Dogma 2 right now and make your characters, um, which is pretty cool. That That is that is quite interesting. So, yeah, we, we're we definitely going to see. Uh, I, have, I actually have no idea if it's... Uh, okay, it is, it is on PC. It is on PC. So, we're going to put this on the uh, wish list. It's already there. Here we go. Yeah, this look, the, the setting in this game looks really nice. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. Um, I need to play Dragon's Dogma 1, I feel like. I feel like I have to before I play 2. Uh, a dragon rips your heart out, and you get really peeved about that in the first one. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. That yeah, sounds pretty good. Well, man, that sounds great, man. This looks really good. Yeah, the, the we watched the, uh, the other development video from it uh, as well. Uh, let me see if I can reopen close tab. Uh, nope, that is that is a different one. Um, yeah, there, there was a different, uh, one where it's like the, uh, it, it was, it was like the, the upcoming gameplay preview or whatever. And it was like talking about like stealth mechanics. You could like make forgeries of items and like try to pass them off as non forgeries. And, um, you can have like uh, a waifu in the game apparently and all kinds of stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, th this, this does look very interesting. Uh, absolutely. Definitely. I feel like with monster hunter becoming so much more popular, I feel like Dragon's Dogma 2 will be uh, a very, very much a bigger uh, success than Dragon, Dragon's Dogma 1 was. Because I, I, I think I, um, I've i heard that Dragon's Dogma 1 is considered like very much like a cult classic and like a hidden gem and stuff. So that looks cool. That looks really, really cool.